It's time. She's ready for you. Thank you. Did you do it yet? Did you do it yet? Yes. Okay. Sophia? It's Dr. Jenica. You know Phoebe can't see or hear anymore. You were the last person she saw before she lost consciousness. I know. She's done. Yes, she is. I just want to pet her for a little bit more. Okay. Take as long as you need. Okay? Just give a knock on the door when you're ready to leave. And we'll come in and administer the final dose. It will stop her heart. You can't be in the room because of COVID. I'm not even supposed to be in here right now, as a matter of fact. I just want you to understand. She can't see or hear anymore. <laughs> we did everything we could. She already was in cardiac failure. Could give her a little bit of oxygen to make her feel more comfortable, but she has no quality of life left. You did the right thing. Take as long as you need. Bye, baby. I guess I should let you go now so you could rest in peace. Thank you for being my best friend. I love you. Bye, girl. Thank you for taking care of her. You're welcome. The cremation's done respectfully. Are you sure you don't want us to send you her ashes? No. Her body isn't hurt. Can I get you a glass of water before you go? No, thank you. I just want to go. Okay. Drive safely. I took an Uber. I can't afford a car. There's no one there.
Hi. Hi. You're Phoebe's mom, right? The short-haired domestic silver tabby? Yes. I'm Majita from the vet clinic. Sorry, I always remember the pet's names, but almost never the people's. I'm Safia. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. Thanks for not using the past tense when talking about Phoebe, even though I know she's gone. She's still here with you. She just wants you to be the person that she loves. Well, she knew I could be a big old bitch. So could she. That's how we got along so well. You know, the night before she died, she bitch slapped me while I was sleeping. <laughs> Cats are the best. Mine hooked her claw into my nose. <laughs> you know, I'm glad she had some fight left in her before she died. Tells me I didn't wait too long before it got too bad. She didn't suffer needlessly just because I wanted to keep her around. Animals are more stoic about death than humans. I mean, it still hurts when they're gone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's not that. Phoebe was my only friend. My only family. And now she's gone. What were you going to do before COVID? <laughs> I was thinking of teaching English in Vietnam. I actually learned some basic Vietnamese. I got my teaching certification. I was looking into how I could bring Phoebe there with me, but I was too scared she was too old to survive the flight, so I took a job in the United States instead. Maybe Phoebe let you go, just like you let her go. My kitty has wings now. My kitty can fly. A toast to flying kitties and the places they'll take us. Flying kitties. Checks. Who's it from? Uh, well, it's from Mrs. Hassan. It's for all of us. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Why don't you read it to all of us while I finish up here with Miss Jean Jean Gabon? Mm -hmm. Let's see, it says Dear Dr. Jenica, Majida, Amal, and all the staff at the Well Animal Vet Clinic, thank you for taking care of Phoebe and helping her into the great beyond. She went very peacefully, and I'm always going to be thankful for that kindness. Safia Hassan. And on behalf of Phoebe, my short-haired domestic silver tabby. Precious. Oh, and uh, Machida, there's uh, something just for you. Oh, thanks. Majida, to flying kitties and the places they take us. Thank you. Safia. You must be Safia. We'll be waiting for you. Chamo never be now. Phoebe.